everyone, I've heard a very strange thing about RFK Jr. And I figured, let's do a live reaction. Let's do it. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Let's do it. Whoa! Okay. And uh, up in Goshen, New York, up in the Hudson Valley. And I was supposed to meet them there at like maybe eight or nine. I was driving up maybe, you know, really early, like seven. And, and that woman in a van in front of me hit a bear and killed it. A young bear. So I pulled over and I picked up the bear and put him in the back of my van because I was going to skin the bear. And it was very good condition. And I was going to and put the meat in my refrigerator. And you can do that in New York City. You can get a bear tag uh, for a roadkill bear. And so then I, we went hawking and I had the bear in my car. And then we had a really good day and we went late. We were catching a lot of game and the people really loved it. So we stayed late. And instead of going back to my home in Westchester, I had to go right to the city because there was a dinner at Peter Luger's Steakhouse. And at the end of the dinner, it went late, and I realized I couldn't go home. I had to go to the airport. And the bear was in my car, and I didn't want to leave the bear in the car, because um, that would have been bad. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, you know. You know, in a strange way, I really do think that RFK Jr would be the perfect president for this era of America. And I don't mean that in a policy way. His policies are stupid, ill-formed, almost identical to most Republican you know, policies. But RFK Jr. represents, like he perfectly reflects the insanity of America at large at this current moment, doesn't he? Like, what is this? What is any of this? How, who gets themselves into these types of situations except for a deranged American? And also, who deliberately tells this story while being filmed? You know? Like, why would he... To what, do, what does he get from telling this story and having someone film him? Just, huh? This is so post-COVID America right here. This is like half of Americans in the post-COVID era. No, that's not right. This is like a solid third of Americans, but that's like the same percentage of Americans who are politically active. So I feel like that's why I feel like he would be the most representative president. Like if America wanted to be honest to the world, RFK Jr. would be the president because what when he would go and talk to foreign leaders, they would see RFK and they would be like, oh, okay, yeah, so this is the political culture of America right now. You know? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Please don't vote for RFK Jr., for the love of God. A lot of us will die and we won't deserve it. I'm just saying, you know? Please don't. No, at that time... <laughs> This was the, the, the little bit of the redneck in me. There had been a series of bicycle accidents in New York. They had just put in the bike lanes. And so people, a couple of people got killed. And it was the r redneck? Is he a redneck? I don't think that... It, if I was to think of any person who fits the category of redneck, RFK Jr. would be like the farthest thing from it. Now, if he had said, like, this is the brain-cooked hippie in me, maybe? If he had said, now, this is the, like, alien-fearing conspiracy theorist in me, but redneck? Come on. Come on. He was just talking about going hawking. He was just talking, oh, sorry, falconing. He was just talking about going falconing in New York. That's redneck to you? Going falconing with your friends? That's, like one step away from going to a royal fox hunt. What are you talking about, my man? Every day, and people have gotten badly injured. Every day it was in the press. Yeah. And so I thought, uh, I wasn't drinking, of course, but people. Why, why would you say that? Why would 
would you volunteer that information? I wasn't dr drinking. Did anybody assume that you were drinking? <laughs> we're drinking with me who thought this was a good idea. And I said... Oh, she's like, what is going on? Does she even know that they're filming? She's like, here we go again. This is, this is the expression, by the way. This is the ex exact expression that people make when, like, someone is ranting to them on the public bus. When you're, like, sitting on the bus with your headphones in and someone walks up to you and they're, like, they start talking in a way that's coherent. They're, like, hey, I was wondering if. And you're, like, yeah. And then you realize you, like, took your headphone out and then you realize they're about to start talking about Lemurians and... Uh, some guy that they name by the first name that you don't and could not possibly know and how that person like pissed them off in a conflict about the Lemurians and you're just going yeah totally yeah oh mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. same exact expression and I had an old bike in my car that somebody asked me to get rid of it I said let's go put the bear in Central Park and we'll make it look like he got hit by a bike <laughs> <laughs> fun yes. funny for people <laughs> Oh, every polite laugh <laughs> with a little bit of concern. We thought that's a great idea, so we went and did that, and we thought it would be amusing for whoever found it or something. It would be amusing. You thought it would be amusing for somebody to find a dead baby bear in the middle of New York City? What are you talking about, bro? The next day, it was like. Uh, it was on every television station. It was the front page of every paper. And I turned on the TV and there was like a mile of yellow tape and there were 20 cop cars. There were helicopters flying over it. And I was like, oh my God. Wait, did somebody say, wait, this can't be, hold on. Wait, is that Roseanne Barr? You know it's bad if Roseanne Barr is giving you the, oh yeah, dude face. Holy moly. That would be like getting oh brothered by Joe Biden when he's sundowning. Actually, it's worse because like Roseanne Barr has been like sundowning on stage for multiple years now. That's wild. What did I do? And, uh, and then they were, there were some people on TV in tie accidents with gloves on lifting up the bike and they're saying they're going to take this up to Albany to get a finger printed. Uh -oh. and, uh... She's like, uh oh, yeah, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> I was worried because <laughs> my prints were all over that bike. <laughs> uh, luckily. Also, okay. The more this goes on, the more this is just a Kennedy situation. The Kennedy family, like, perhaps what they will go down in history the most as is absolutely batshit insane people who get into the dumbest and most absurd imaginable hijinks that often results in someone or some, some, some living thing being dead. Whether or not it's like, like ruled as murder or, or ruled as poaching, like somebody's gonna end up dead. Um, the, uh, the story died down after a while and, uh, and it stayed dead for a decade. And um, the New Yorker somehow found out about it and they just, they're gonna do a big article on me and that's one of the articles. So they asked me the fact checker is dead. You know, it's going to be a bad story. Uh -oh. right? <laughs> I think it's a great story. <laughs> what? What is that edit at the end? Why does it do that? <laughs> Why does it do like an eyes closed iris? <laughs> what the hell? Looking forward to seeing how you spin this one at New Yorker. This guy has the wildest campaign strategy I've ever seen. I heard somebody was going to do a story on the time that, that 
I planted, I definitely not drunkenly planted the dead body of a young bear in the center of New York after I was out falconing all day. Watch this. Oh my god. Just what? Let's see how the media distorts this. Yeah, wh yeah what is there to distort? Like, I want to know what, what's the, what is there to distort? You know, what would be, you know, what would be g genuinely giga chat of him? Something that would be genuinely giga chat of him would be for him to put up dead baby bear merch on his campaign store. That would show the media, you know, that would, that would seriously show the media. I feel like, you know, like maybe a little, like, it could be like a beanie with little X eyes, like a little bear hat, but it has little X eyes or something like that. Or a shirt that says, I was not drunk, but my friends were. And then it has like a picture of like a little like cartoon bear that has a little like tire track over it. That would be really good. See, he should hire me. RFK, RFK Jr., if you're watching this, you can you can have those ideas. Just call me and we'll work out the details, okay? <laughs> Retcon404 says, RFK Jr. GPS voiceover DLC. That is like, I didn't know you were an accelerationist, but now I know now. Because if you got the RFK Jr. GPS voice, it would cause the most accidents since, like, the reintroduction of alcohol into American civilization, into American society. That would be the greatest way to get people to crash. It'd be like, I, I need you to up ahead. And then you'd be like, did he say right or left? <laughs> Directly into a telephone pole? My god. Hold on, is there any other? Let's just see if there's, I want to see what else he's been tweeting here. Oh my god. Okay, so this is like, he tweeted this a few hours ago. And then he tweeted this, a day at the beach. Is this just like, what is this? A day at the beach? We got the maple leaf rag. And it's him catching crabs. Are they gonna plant these? Wow, you're killing the puffer fish! What is with this guy and killing or torturing? Torturing animals! That's not a seahorse. That is not a seahorse. That's a pipefish. I would. Is he just gonna bite it? Shenanahan. <sighs> Holy moly. This can't be real. This can't be real. Hold on, I have to check it myself. I have to check it. I'm so sorry, but I need to make sure that this is real. Is this real? Oh my God, it's real. He did it. He put a fucking bear. They... <laughs> Oh my god! America is so cooked. I need you to understand the fact that this even exists at all. It's just, it speaks to the rot in America. Oh.
I can't believe that's real. Honestly, it should it it should it, they should make you pick it up in the middle of a park. You shouldn't be able to get it shipped to you. You should only be able to get it shipped to a local park. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. Way back the bear, how long has it been on their site? Okay, that's a good point, but also if I was if I was worried about them spe like you know spinning a story about bears, I would not leave the teddy bear up on my site. It is possible that this teddy bear like predates the thing, but even still, it's one of two toys they have. They have a no secret service jigsaw puzzle. This is the this is the one where he's got the puppies out. This is the barefoot uh, uh, Kennedy puzzle. And then they've got the bear. My god. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, uh, Kennedy, by his own admission, uh, pilfered the dead body of a baby bear, put it in the middle of New York City, and caused a na nationwide incident. And his idea to get out ahead of that story was just to openly admit that he did that. I am shocked. I shouldn't be. Uh, this is this is a shame on me moment. After the dog eating incident and the brain worm incident. I should not be shocked at all. Oh, and the uh, multiple allegations of sexual impropriety incidents. I shouldn't be shocked by anything at all. But I will say it is pretty shocking to watch him tell that story. Like, to, to, to his living room, having them film it as he retells the story of him. Definitely not drunkenly, but his friends were super drunk, though going falconing and then dropping a bear in the middle of a park. That's absurd. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure that you hit subscribe down below and tell me what you think about the bear, okay? Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that he should put the merch that I suggested up on there? If so, tell me. Tell, tell RFK Jr. that you want to see the teddy bear with the X eyes or the shirt that I said before, the I wasn't drunk, but my friends were shirt. Make sure you tell RFK, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching.